Hello, hello, welcome dear brothers and sisters in Christ and friends, everyone who is watching this program, learning a lot from me, uh, learning a lot together with me. It's very great pleasure to be with you. Welcome in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today, uh, we are going to deal another with uh, Muhammad, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the greatest prophet, Sheikh Muhammad Didat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the greatest, uh, Sheikh, the greatest, the greatest religion, Islam, the greatest book, Quran, the greatest people, Muslim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, the greatest, the greatest, the greatest, the greatest. You people are going to learn a lot today about the greatest religion, about the greatest book, about the greatest uh, Muhammad, about the greatest Didat, about the greatest Quran, and the greatest people, the Muslims themselves. Let us listen again. Oh, again, as I said, I'm sorry, I was not able to answer all, all of you guys because I have full-time work. I work 40 hours and my job is very tiring and uh, I try to, uh, you know, answer to some of you guys, but it is, it is, it is what it is. God willing, in the near future, if I get another means to uh, work and uh, do, uh, I will be looking for that. I'm, 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 I hope God will provide me. I will go to the corner, <laughs> speaker's corner in London and, and anywhere in Israel and everywhere. But that's my plan, my dream. But just share, please. Please share, like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe and help me. Help me fulfill my dream, serving the Lord Jesus Christ and serving humanity, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. That is my dream. I do not dream for, like, uh, you know, riches or honor or anything, nothing. I just dream to be, have a good fellowship with brothers and sisters and everybody else and dismantle the works of the devil. Because the Bible says the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And we are going to do that. Let us hear from the greatest man now, Ahmed Didat. Ahmed Didat. The greatest man, Ahmed Didat. The greatest man, Ahmed Didat. Didat. Who am I say? Ahmed Didat. The greatest man, Ahmed Didat. Let's listen. All right. Here you are. What do you call it, you Sudanese? This is the Holy Bible. I said, this is the Holy Bible. Right? Say yes, this is the Holy Bible. I said, what do you call it? Yes, Sheikh, what do you call this? What do you call it? Yes, that's what they said. I said, what do you call it, you Sudanese? He said, Injil. I said, right? No, I said, now what you do? Come on, come on. First book of the Bible, but Genesis, open it. So they open, everybody. Got it? Find chapter 19. Got it? He says, got it. I said, verse 30. Got it? He says, got it. It's right. Read. So he reads two verses. I said, next one. And read, read, continue, continue. That's in jail. You're getting horrified. Wallah. It is so easy to deal with the enemy. This book here. This is the scud missile he's throwing at you, pushing it down your throat. You now reverse this, send it back to him. And I tell you, this few, I gave them a few references. Genesis chapter 19, verse 30 onwards. He speaks about Mutal Salam and his two daughters. Night after night they seduce the father and they collect, they have sex with the father and they beget bastard children from the father. Mutal Salam. Astaghfirullah. 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 See? Right. Read it. Ruben, one of the sons of Yaqub, Okay, let's start because I have another program where I deal with that. Let's go deal with uh, uh, the book of Lot. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, the history of Lot and uh, what happened. Um, now, this is the greatest man. He is saying the Bible. Do you call it Holy Bible? Do you call it Holy Bible? How on earth? How dare you call it Holy Bible? Wow, do you call it Holy Bible? Okay, now let's go to uh, uh, the book of Lot, the life of Lot. Uh, this Lot, uh, when Abraham separated, left his country, he also learned from Abraham and followed him. And Lot was a man of God, but he made so many mistakes, so many. Let's just start from the, the beginning, before everything was and then what the Bible says. And Lord lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan that was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. 
even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as thou camest unto Zawar. Then Lord chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lord journeyed east, and they separated themselves one from another. 13, thir uh, Genesis 13, 12. And Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent toward Sodom. Toward Sodom. Where? Toward Sodom. But the main of Sodom, where there is but, he chose. He lifted up his eyes. You see? The, the, the previous, his journey, you know, we have to be, be careful in our lives. When we make a decision, when we do something, God reporters, you know, what happened. And then he says, but it was, there was a mistake. Abraham told him to separate from him. And he told him, well, you can, you can go to anywhere. Let's separate because you have too many cattle and I have too many cattle. And then, uh, we have problem, but just, you know, separate from me and then take somewhere. So he, Lot was just, you know, he watching his eyes. Where is the best place? Where is the best place? Where I can I go? Where is my future found? Where can I get prosperity? Where can I get my business? Where can I multiply my, you know, whatever God has given me? Where is the place? He lifted up his eyes. You remember, Abraham, when he does something, he all, he did something, he always prays. He, uh, uh, built altar and sacrifice unto the Lord and he called the name of the Lord Abraham does something he doesn't do he doesn't lift up his eyes and then see the, the the beautiful land but this man he has this eye problem he just saw and behold the land of Sodom and Gomorrah wow this is my best place this is my dream land let me go over there Abraham go on to the dry land any dry land you can go he didn't even discuss with his brother. He didn't pray to God. He didn't discuss with his brother. Uh, did, did anything. He's just, he lifted up his eyes. He lifted up his eyes and looked the cursed land of Sodom and Gomorrah. And he said, Abraham, uh, I don't care wherever I go. I go to that beautiful place. I, I go to where the water and everything is good. No, I don't ask God. My eyes guide me. My eyes guide me. So that's the principle of Lord. You know, sometimes there are a lot of Christians like Lot today. We just do not even pray. We don't do a counsel with God. We, a, a Christian always should, should pray. Jesus ta 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 uh, taught us and he said, pray without ceasing. Always. Always. But this man, he did not pray. He didn't counsel with his brother. He didn't study anything. He just saw a beautiful land. Beautiful. And then he made the first mistake. He made. The Lord said, but the men of Sodom were wicked. He went into where? Into the wicked land. And sinners before God, before, before the Lord. Exceedingly, exceedingly. Look at the language. What he did? He went to this place without doing anything? Without consulting his brother and then uh, even, uh, you know, uh, God? How come he went there? He was snared. That was the first mistake. The first mistake, because he didn't pray. If you if you talk to God, God, oh, I'm to, I'm planning to go to Sodom and Gomorrah. What do you think, Lord? Is that okay? Is that okay? Will you guide me? You have to have guidance. You don't go blindly like this man. The outcome of Lord's action. What was the action? You know, let's let's go read and uh, let's go and read uh, what he did uh, in the book of um, Genesis 19. Okay, now he's, he, he went there, he lifted up uh, his eyes, he went there, he left, he dwelt there, and then something happened. That people, God was going to, dis because that people were extremely evil people, like this generation, today's generation, like everywhere, Sodom and Gomorrah, homosexual, lesbian, gay, or whatever, and that was the land. And Lord, uh, but I, I could have read a lot, but I just, because of the time, I'm going to give you the main point. And Lot went out of Zawar and dwelt in the mountain, and his two daughters with him. For he feared to dwell in the Zoar, and he dwelt in the cave, and he had two daughters. You see, he left that. That beautiful place was destroyed. He lost everything. And now he went to become a caveman. From the beautiful city of Sodom and Gomorrah, he will become a caveman. Cave. No house. Nothing. Nothing. Cave, the mountain dweller, a caveman. 
And the firstborn said unto the younger, Our father is old, and there is no a man in the earth to come in unto us. After the manner of the earth, in the earth, they say, there is no man, no man, nothing, no man. That's her, her, her imagination. This, this, this woman, this daughter, the daughter of, they were just entrenched in, 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 in this, in the mountain. There is no people, nothing. It's destroyed, burned, burned everything they know. So they say, well, uh, you see, we are here and our father is getting old. He's dying. We don't have anybody to, to lay with us and then produce a seed. We're gonna perish. You and me, we will, we will, we're gonna perish. Our father will die. No man will come to us in the earth and we'll be done. Come, let us make our father drink wine and we'll lie with him that we may pre uh, preserve seed of our father. What, what is the aim? Preserve seed of our father. That's a pro that's the solution. That's the problem. And that's their solution. Is it God who commanded? No. No. God is showing us the history and everything. It, when you do something, you have consequence. You, you better be careful. Learn from Lot. Remember when Jesus said, remember Lot's wife? As, as in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. That's why Jesus, you know, emphasized this Sodom and Gomorrah. So this, this daughter, she said, well, let's see, have seed. Let's, let's, let's not per perish. Let's not perish completely forever. Let's have sons and, and then, you know, uh, daughter and then just, you know, live. And they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with the, her father and the per uh, perceived not when she lay down nor when she arose. He drank. He become drunk. He was depressed. He was depressed in the cave. He has nothing. He just to, to try to drink. Drink, drink wine. And it came to pass on the morrow that the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay yesterday night with my father. Let us make him drink wine this night also, and go thou in, and lie with him, that we may preserve seed of, of our father. Seed, seed, seed. We don't want to perish. Our solution is to have seed, and after our father died, our children will continue. It's like in their world, the world is destroyed. They know nothing. So that's the solution. They made their father drunk wine that night also. That night also. He said, night after night. Night after night. This idiot. The Arabian bull. The Arabian bull, this idiot. Night after night. They had two night. One each. And they wanted not sex, but they wanted a preservation of their seed. And they made their father drunk wine that also, and the younger arose and lay with him and perceived not when they lay uh, down nor when arose. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. The word of God is clear. That's the consequence. That's the problem. And the firstborn bare a son and called his name Moab. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the, the younger one also, the younger also, uh, she also bare a son and called his name Benjamin. Benjamin, the same is the father of children of Ammon unto this day. Benjamin, the people, son of my people. That's my my son of my people. That the meaning of the name, son of my people. So this is the story of Lot. So what is the consequence? What happened after this? What is God teaching us? The consequence is they become the number one enemy of the children of Israel. The number one enemy of the children of Israel. Number one. An, um, an Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Look, the commandment of the Lord. An Ammonite is the daughter of the, the son of the, the, the daughter of son or Moabite. That's, it, that's it. their descendant, their generation. An Ammonite or a Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, even to their tenth generation, shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. The tenth generation has, because number ten has a, a biblical meaning, which we are going to study, but the Lord said, an Ammonite and a Moabite will not enter into my, this pastor's, they cannot enter into my, uh, 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 um, into my congregations, into my house. Deuteronomy 23, and then if you 22, it says, a bastard shall not enter into the congregation of God. And then he put them, 
verse 3, Ammonite. For example, uh, Ammonite and Moabite. They cannot enter. They cannot. Let me, let me go. Uh, um, uh, uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, what is, uh, yeah. Deuteronomy 23, 2. Deuteronomy, um, 23, 23. A bastard, look. The first one, he says what? A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord, even to his tenth generation shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. An Ammonite, that's it. Bastards. These are bastards. So God is clear. It's not, it's not, it's not God. It's not, God did not, um, you know, mandate or told them to do that. He is telling when you do a mistake, you got a problem. So you have to be careful when you guide your life before God. Every Christian, this is a big lesson. When you marry, when you do something, major thing, you have to take time, you have to fast, you have to pray and Lord God, ask Lord God, is that your will? Help me, guide me, give me. Give me instruction, guidance. Scorching at the, uh, 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 scorning at the construction of God's temple. What is that? But when Sambalat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, Tobiah means, Tob means good, Yah means Yahweh. Jehovah is good. <laughs> Jehovah is good. The servant, the Ammonite, is Ammonite. You, his father was a man of God. Long time ago, long time ago, his great, 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 great father, Lot, was a man of God. And then he inherited the, the name, Tobiah. Yahweh is good. Okay, but what he does he do? But when Sambalat, the Horonite, Topia, the Saravant, the Ammonite, and Geshem, the Arabi, Arabian, heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that you do? Will you rebel against the king? Nehemiah, the book of Nehemiah, chapter 290. You see, this is the number one enemy who resisted the temple when the temple was uh, built. He became friends of the Arabian, the Muhammad, the Prophet Muhammad. He became friends of the Quraysh people. And they, he tried to stop the construction of the temple of the Lord. What is he doing today? It's the same thing. Arab, this, the Arabian bull, he say, like, what do you call is this Bible? Bible. The Arabian bull, bull, bull. Oh, now look, he he mocked the the word of God. Political prisoners. Yeah. To the people put up by the British, he became the strongest. Yeah. It is always his dream. He is lecturing in Malaysia. He told them, "My brothers, I want you to come and visit the Malays." Yeah, yeah, that man. Oh, God. I mean, it's 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 depressing. It's bad, really. Don't be. I mean, don't mess up with God. Any, if you are, you know, uh, if you have another religion, uh, keep your religion. If you have your, uh, if you are, uh, uh, you don't believe in God, shut up and just sit down. But don't play with the word of God. Don't rise against the word of God. You're going to pay the price. If you come to the Lord, it will be your glory. Your, your, uh, your, your poor soul will be saved. You will have everlasting life. You will have great glory. You will have everlasting kingdom. You will have the love of God with you forever and ever. You will have all that. But if you mock, like this mocker, you are doomed. They are, they are praying for him. Oh, what praying? He didn't, he played with fire. He played with his, his, his fire. He didn't know the Bible. Just, Select something and then vomit. Idiot. Hey, I'm sorry for him. Sorry. I mean, what is the benefit of somebody being thrown into a hellfire? What is that? It's not. It doesn't do anything. I'm poor soul who are made in the image of God. He ridiculed the word of the Lord. Now, let's go back. Now, you can read uh, about the Ammonite and the Moabite in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Ezekiel, in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah, in everywhere. They are the number one enemy of God. I have heard, the Bible says, in Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 2, I have heard the reproach of Moab and the insults of the people of Ammon, with which they have reproached my people and made arrogant threats against their borders. Arrogant Arabs. Today, arrogant Arab Mohammedan, they boast. 
They have nothing, but they have nothing except lies and deception. Therefore, as I live, says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be like Sodom. They are the children of Sodom. Yeah, they came from Sodom, they will be like Sodom. And the people of Ammon like Gomorrah. They came overrun with weeds and salpits and perpetual desolation. The residue of my people shall plunder them, the Bible says. Oh, 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 oh. ah, poor, poor, poor. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Let us, let us go to the priest, the Christian prince, and then <laughs> listen. Which, which book is the trash book? The word of God? The word of the Lord? Or let's listen. Have patience. In, in, in Islam, you, in Mecca, is allowed to get married with his own daughter? Yes, not married, to, to, to have sex with her. Just to have sex with her? Yes, oh, not really? to marry her. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? Yeah, you want, oh. to, you want to challenge me? Yeah, but if you if you if you stay okay. with me, don't run away. Okay. Now, if I if I show you the proof, what you would do? Show me the proof. No, I want you. I, I, want, I want you to. I want you to make a promise. I want you to make a promise. Which you don't understand. You, know? you, you are the one who called me, and you are the one who challenged me, and now I accept your challenge. But now the challenge, all, all this effort I will do, if I show you that your prophet, and your religion, and your Muslims, and your Quran is is a is a book of faith, and you're telling me to show you that. What you will do if I show you? I want from you a return, a promise. Are you going to say, are you going to accept that whoever believe in this, I'm not going to ask you to insult your prophet, no. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to say, whoever believe in this garbage is a filthy, disgusting creature? Of course. Okay, thank you, guys. Of course. Mr. Nightmare, he said that. He made a promise. Let us go for the promise I made to prove my point. Here we go. Read with me, please. Do you see the screen? Yes. All right. Read with me, please. قوله تعالى نسبا وصهر النسب والصهر معنيان يحمان كل قربة تكون بين آدميين. Translate, please. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go no, no, you translate it because I want your translation so people will not say I'm making things up. Please, go ahead. No, you, you translate. If you make okay. if, if something I don't agree, right. then I can. Uh, when, when Allah he said, when Allah he said, this is the interpretation, when Allah he said, نسباً وصهرة النسب والصهر معنيان يعماني كل قربة تكون بين آدميين He is saying, mm -hmm. Allah he said, that lineage and marriage, it is a meaning of anything having happened between two people in lineage, between two human beings. Mm -hmm. Ibn al-Arabi, Ibn al-Arabi he said, النسب وإبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع. The word نسب mean lineage, is it is, a, a statement mean the mixing of the water between the male and the female according to the Sharia law. This is what lineage mean. And then he can right. he continue saying, فَإِن كَانَ بِمَعْصِيَا كَانَ خَلْقًا مُطْلَقًا وَلَمْ يَكُنْ نَسَبًا مُحَقَّقًا And if it mm -hmm. was against the Sharia, which means adultery, it is just a creation and it is not an absolute lineage. And then he says, وَلِذَلِكَ لَمْ يَدُخُلْ تَحْتَ قَوْلِهِ And this is why it is not considered under his command or his statement, which means Allah's statement. حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتُكُمْ وَبَنَاتُكُمْ بِنْتُهُ مِنَ الزِّنَا And this is why it is not considered under his statement. It's hmm. forbidden for you, your mothers and your daughter. And he continues saying, بِنْتُهُ hmm. مِنَ الزِّنَا His daughter from adultery. لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ بِبِنْتٍ لَهُ فِي أَصَحِّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ لَعُلَمَائِنَا وَأَصَحُّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ فِي الدِّينِ Because, and the reason she is not considered as forbidden for him, which means to sleep with her, because she is not considered as his daughter according to the most accurate scholars and the most accurate opinion of the religion. وَإِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ نَسَبٌ شَرَعًا فَلَا صَهْرَ شَرَعًا And if there is no relationship or lineage by Sharia law, so it is not forbidden for him. فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِبِنْتْ أُمْ وَلَا أُمُّ بِنْتْ So it's not forbidden for him to do fornication with his daughter and the mother of his daughter. وَمَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَلَالِ لَا يُحَرَّمُ مِنَ الْحَرَامِ And what is forbidden from halal is not forbidden from what is haram. Now I get you busted, apologize, and say that you Muslims are disgusting creatures by believing in this as you promised me. Yes, yes, yes. This is, this is Islam. This is Islam. And this insult the word of the Lord? This is Islam. But they accuse of Lord and then uh, whatever happened in the Bible. The Bible, God didn't say, go and sleep with your daughter. The Bible didn't ask him to drink wine and do that. Why he didn't pray before the Lord? He, we didn't see him praying like Abraham and others. Just that happened. But this is a wicked religion. 
This is a wicked people. Arabian. Ah, Tobia, 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 Tobia. Ah, Surah, Surah to uh, Surah uh, 33, 50. 50. Oh, Prophet, we have made love full for you. Your wives to whom you have paid their full. Uh, uh, okay, let's, let's go this one. Oh, Prophet, indeed, we have made lawful to your wives to whom you have given their due compensation and those your right hand possess from what Allah has returned to you or captives, uh -huh, and the daughters of your paternal uncles, and the daughters of your paternal aunts, and the daughters of your maternal uncles, and the daughters of your maternal aunts, whom immigrated with you, and believing woman, and the believing woman, she gives herself to the Prophet, and the Prophet wishes to marry her. <laughs> this is the most disgusting, devilish, devilish. This is, no, there are some, this is, this is garbage. This is garbage. Is this, do you say, the Lord God, do not deceive your wife. That was the Israelite God, when God told them, huh? What did God, this, Allah is God. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Allah is, how come, how come this, this is, this God is the God of Israel? Malachi. Malachi, Malachi, chapter 2. Um, uh, I think it is 15 or 18 or something like that. Mm. This, these are the, the people. These are the people. The Lord God is pure. The Lord God is, is amazing, great. You have worried your uh, with your words, yet you say, "Wherein have we worried you?" Okay, uh, what is it? Um, the Lord says, uh, "I think it is a yet." Uh, yet you say, "Wherefore, because the Lord has been witness between the the wife of the rules against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet she she is thy companion. She is thy companion and the wife of thy covenant." How come you deceived your wife? How come you deceived the Lord, God says? Huh? How come you deceived her? She is a covenant, your wife. Your wife, how did, how did you dare? How did you deceive your wife? That was the, 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 the Lord. And did not make one, yet had the residue of the spirit, and whoso, uh, wherefore one that might seek a godly seed, the seed, uh -huh, therefore take it to your spirit. And let none deal treacherously against the wife of his users. Don't deceive your wife. Respect your wife. Don't go like a dog, like the Prophet Muhammad. Like a dog. You have to respect your wife. That's what one of the crime of the Israelites to, do, to, do, to be destroyed was because they were against their wives. They just like dogs run one after the other. And God told them. Love your wife, respect your wife. That's the command of the Lord, the Almighty. This is the one, the God of Israel. We worship, we love, we adore, we follow. But your Allah and your black stone, your lying prophet, they, 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 they're going to throw you into hellfire. Come out of that, believe in the Lord Jesus, and be a family of God. Loving, caring God. Saving God. Okay? May the Lord richly bless you until we meet other, uh, again with another program. Thank you and bye.